Hello there, Andrew Ronu from WeBuildYourBlog.com and some of you know that a few months ago I left the 9 to 5 corporate world and now I'll make my living, my income, blogging and building blogs for other people and small businesses and one of the ways I do that is through affiliate marketing so I promote and recommend other people's products um, and make a commission that way now before you jump on your high horse I just want to make sure that one you're aware that I only recommend products I currently use I use myself personally on my own blogs and I also do make sure that I tell everyone that my blog does have have, have affiliate links by having a particular page if I go down here right at the bottom you can see here I've got an, an affiliate disclosure which you could click on and, and it basically says to you that yep there's going to be affiliate links on here and I'm going to make some money if you click on it and decide to buy the product as I say I only recommend products which um, I personally use now one of the, if you're a little bit like me uh, the problem I often face is I buy a particular product and then it takes me a little while to set it up and get around to using it and one of those products I'm going to share with you today uh, and I purchased it on the 1st of July and today the 17th of August which is seven weeks later or there or thereabouts and the product is currently called Max Blog Press Ninja Affiliate WordPress Plugin what a mouthful now it's not a free it's not free you do have to buy it but what it basically does it takes any keyword phrases you decide and automatically adds a link to on those keyword phrases within all of your blog posts and all the history of all your blog posts and sets them up to be a, an affiliate links to the affiliate destination the link the product which you want to recommend um, and which you set up so for instance if I decide I want to set up affiliate marketing as a um, a keyword phrase which I want to set up as an, an affiliate link using the plugin I set it up affiliate marketing I set it up where I'd like the destination to go and BAM it goes through all of my previous blog posts and all my future blog posts and add, will add a link to affiliate marketing so that it's clickable onto a particular product which I'm recommending and this is the blog post I'm just this is the before blog post because I installed the plugin today and I'll show you about the plugin in a moment but this is the before and this is the after and you can see see where it's the the blue is they are the ones which I've set up so if I click here so if I just show you that it is the same one so if I click here I've set up search engine optimization and it goes over to the online SEO training program as an affiliated product if I then go back to the blog post and I click on social media social media goes over to the bookmarking demon product eventually you can see that this is the as, as my, again my affiliate link and I'm going to turn that one off because a video comes up I'm going to quickly turn the video off because a lady comes on and starts talking to you and then if I go back to the post I've got affiliate marketing here if I click on affiliate marketing it then comes up with the course and I'm currently doing this course now uh, called affiliate Nair by Jimmy Brown and you may have seen some of the blog posts I'm doing while I'm doing this course so before no links after some links with regards to my affiliates and the, the plugin automatically does that I haven't touched these blog posts it goes back and changes all the history so this is the actual plugin here and basically what you do you set up your link name now this link name is just for your benefit only it's got nothing to do with the actual keyword phrases or anything like that it's almost like a grouping of um, your links so if I now go into this one here affiliate marketing strategy 
And what that will do, oh, I've clicked on the wrong thing. Well, let me go back. Let me edit that particular link. And what that will do is show us one where it's going to, so the destination, and it'll show you the phrases which I've used to say if any of those phrases happen to be on any of my blog posts throughout the history of my blog change it to this link and so this is my destination this is where I want it to go once you click on the link and this is the different keywords I've said convert to a link so if any of these keywords are associated or written in my any of my blog posts it will say make them a link and link to this destination here so if I go back to the actual blog post you'll see there's affiliate marketing here that was the after blog post affiliate marketing if I go back to the plugin you'll see that I've got down here affiliate marketing and it goes to this particular page here and you'll see up here that this is the destination of the affiliate marketing course now and that's simple you just put in your keywords you put in your destination and it, as I say it goes through every single blog post looks for these particular phrases and changes every phrase for your dest and makes it a link to your destination now if you were to do that that would be great but it would look a little bit spammy every time you saw one of these keyword phrases or one of these phrases not keyword phrases but one of these phrases within your blog post so if you, I mentioned affiliate marketing strategy and Jimmy Brown Jimmy Brown is a guy who's doing the course I'm running on affiliate marketing it's called affiliate there um, etc if I mentioned some of three or four of those phrases within the blog post then that would look pretty horrible pretty spammy with regards to the amount of links within the blog post so what you can do you can actually I'm just gonna although I haven't changed it I'm just gonna save that um, what you can actually do is say well I only want these particular links to be in any blog posts for a particular amount of time so a particular amount of times so if I click on here keywords to ninja link options it says to me or well, it gives me the option to say how many different times should the keyword be. So um, what I'm saying here is that if, if the keyword is at the maximum only use three keywords in any blog post because otherwise it's just going to be <coughs> excuse me far too spammy within any, any blog post which has got more than three links in. So even if affiliate marketing is mentioned several times and as you can see if I go back to this blog post it's actually up here affiliate marketing and it's not a link so it randomly says where shall I put the link it could have put it there it could have put it down here which it has I'm sure affiliate marketing is somewhere else um, it might not be but if it was because of this there's, there's only three links in this blog you can see there's one two three and that's because I've said over here I only want to put three links in the same post and then the other things you can do here you can say open the links in a new window use a no follow which I do and you can you can decide the color of the link whether you want it bold underline the font etc etc um, and as I say it's really easy so you just set up your um, you set up your different key your, your different phrases you set up your destination of your um, where you want the um, the link to go to your affiliate marketing um, product and you click save and then it just goes through all of your blog posts randomly changes the phrases which you've set up and then it basically says there's the destination so when everyone clicks on it they look at it they may buy they may not as I say I've had this product for seven weeks I've installed it today today's the 17th of August and I'm gonna see how it goes see if it generates any money any income let's see and 
that's all there is to it really there's a couple of other things you can do with it you can cloak your links so it's not um, lo lots of gobbledygook and lots of letters and numbers you can um, as I say uh, cloak your links um, so therefore there's no sort of affiliate theft with regards to um, someone trying to steal your commissions and that sort of thing as I say you can put in no follow links as well you can turn them off quite easily add them really easily and I'm just going to see how they go and I'll keep you posted and that's it I'm Andrew Rondo from webuildyourblog.com and I shall speak to you all very very soon all the best bye